Hi, my name is Angelina Foti, and today we are going to explore the radioisotope iodine-131. Throughout this PowerPoint, we are going to take an insight into not only the benefits and negatives of using iodine-131, but also what it is, what it does, and the basic facts. So here are some basic facts. Iodine is used in radionuclide therapy. It is a radioactive decay, also known as beta decay, which can treat an overactive thyroid and in some cases thyroid cancer. It is given to the patient in the form of capsule. This tablet gives off beta particles as well as small amounts of gamma rays, which causes internal radiation damage, hence abolishing the cancerous tissue in the thyroid cells. This particular radioisotope is used as the thyroid cells are the only cells in the body that can absorb iodine 131. So on this slide, we can see the shorthand and the model diagram of the atom iodine, with the atom number being 131. As you can see, it has 53 protons and electrons, which come from the atomic mass, as well as 78 neutrons. So how is it used in medicine? Iodine-131 therapy is a radioactive medicine that produces nuclear fission. Nearly all of the iodine in your body is absorbed by the thyroid gland. So when an iodine-131 capsule is taken, it concentrates in the thyroid cells. This form of radiation can destroy all the thyroid cells that have been absorbing all the iodine. It is crucial for the hormones are inadequate as they play an important role in the body. For example, it influences the metabolism, development, as well as body temperature. So what are the benefits in using radioiodine 131? The beta particles leave the body the quickest compared to many other elements that contain beta particles. As its half-life is 8, therefore taking up to 32 days for the iodine to completely leave the body system. Whilst the iodine is killing all the cancerous tissue in the thyroid, it can also do the same in any other parts of the body. Therefore, the iodine-131 medicines will help make your thyroid function normally again, as it has destroyed all the cancerous tissue. Hence, radioiodine is known as the most effective therapy for an overactive thyroid and thyroid cancer. So what are the negatives? If you are exposed physically to large amounts of iodine-131, it can cause burns to the eyes and skin. If you consume large amounts of iodine 131, it can affect the thyroid gland as well as the Adam's apple. If iodine 131 was released into the atmosphere, consequently humans can be exposed internally to the radiation. If that person doesn't need that iodine, it can cause risks for thyroid cancer and any other thyroid problems. There are only a minor amount of problems in using iodine 131. These can be prevented by the person only taking the right amount needed and keeping the radioisotope locked away safe from harm. Therefore, the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. I hope I have informed all of you today about the radioisotope 131. Thank you.